as this knife crime epidemic erupts around particularly London, it's forced you to come out. Why? Well, I wanted to highlight my background, you know, because of what I do now. And everyone see the Johnson Bihari VC and the great things I'm doing now. But we all came from somewhere. Now, unfortunately, some people's background is more colorful than, than others. But I wanted to highlight my background of the, the life I get dragged into when I came into this country. Mm. Uh, it, it, it was new to me, new friends, one thing lead to the next, you know, and end up in that environment. I came here when I was 19, so roughly 19. All right, 19. Uh, ni 19 onwards. Um, and I spent about a year and a half on the street before the light bulb came on and think, well, I have to do something because it's either RIP or yeah. prison. I mean, looking back today, I don't know where I would have been. And you were dealing drugs? You were carrying an Uzi machine gun? Back then, you know, it, you have to have some form of protection. You know, it's so uh, I could sit here and say I'm proud that I haven't had the, to use it, but I had the protection. We have to focus on the things that they, they are doing. I think we should call on the government to focus more on youth clubs, giving disadvantaged kids something to do, something to focus on, so they don't get drawn into things like that. You joined the army, and in some senses, because you say it was either RIP for you or prison before you joined up, and so the army saved your life. Well, in a way. I, I was looking for direction, yes. and the army was there, you know. And they didn't really want to take you, did they? I mean, you were bad news. They had to really fight hard to get in A the number army. of times you were I have down. tried a number of times and been refused, but um, is, is that determination of wanting change. Mm. And, you know, I didn't give up, and I had the willpower to keep fighting for change. People who are watching, uh, Johnson, young kids maybe watching this, who are in gangs, like you were, mm. who think it's cool to carry a knife and want to protect themselves and they're into turf war and gang warfare and so on. That's the main problem with all this knife culture. They might look at you in this smart suit, very articulate, very inspiring with your array of medals, and they might think, oh, dude, that is a life I'd like to try and get for myself. I'd like to be a hero, not a mm. villain, but I can't leave the gang. Most of your gang are now in prison or dead. How do you persuade them well, to make that jump like you did? It's, it's all in the mind. You know, you want to, if you want change, change would come. And I could help these individuals. You know, I have set up the Johnson B. Harry VC Foundation to help people like myself back then to get on a straight and narrow life. Mm. Um, what I do, and I'm, I'm lucky that I have access to the prison so that I could meet them to mm. prior release and sit down with them and offer them a package. And the package I offer them is, so it, it range from identify, rehabilitate, educate, mm. apprenticeship and jobs. And it's not easy. It is tough. Mm. And there, there, is, there is loads of other charities or they're probably doing similar things like myself. But if you hadn't done what you did and forced yourself to change and to move on, you might be dead, you might be in prison. You know, you, who knows what would have happened to you? You're in a very dangerous environment that could have ended, as it is for so many young kids at the moment, with a knife in the stomach or whatever it may be. Instead, you're sitting here as an absolute shining embodiment of all that's good about this country, all that's good about fighting for your country and earning these gallantry medals. You are the absolute embodiment of what they should aspire to be. And that's the point. So I hope you keep going out. I hope these people, if they're watching, look at you and want to be like the man you are now, yeah. not the kids you were in your teens. I mean, there, there is change and it's proven in what we do. What we do, we have a great success rate. Yeah. Last year's program, Through the Gate, ended with 90% success. Mm -hmm. With Out of 20 individuals, 18 end up in some form of employment. So that's brilliant. You do lots of focus one-to-one -one work. And that's frankly, right. that's, I know what a lot of mm. these teens need. Um, it's great to see you. Thank you so much uh, for coming in. Yep. Thank you for your service.